want to show you the enemy webcam here and you can see the parking lot's wet, but I really don't think we're going to have much in the way of icy conditions tonight. Temperatures are going to be inching on up through the nighttime hours tonight. So the issue of roads refreezing, parking lots refreezing, that's pretty much not going to be the case as we go into tonight. Real quick on the 906 Weather Watchers page because we got some strong winds to talk about. Angela Stafford, Crystal Falls, beautiful morning photo. Thank you, Angela, for sending that in. Joe Neuenbauer in Escanaba, a beautiful pre-sunrise photo with the church in the background. Thanks, Joe, for sending that in. And then as we go to Ron in Manistique here, he had a beautiful sunrise this morning, but it was cold. Thank you to our 906 Weather Watchers for sending that in. Well, let's fire up max one here. I'm going to do a reset on the computer here and get you back to the top to three things to know here. And you can see we are going to have above average temperatures here as we go through tonight even and into tomorrow. But the big weather story right there, strong winds as we go through tomorrow night on into Thursday. And then we're looking at colder temperatures for the daytime on Thursday. Temperatures a tad bit cooler today with more clouds, 30s to around 40. But temperatures really haven't moved much this evening. You got 36 at Sawyer, 39 on Tanagan, 38 for Houghton, 39 Grand Marais. And as you can see, that's why I said right off the top of the weather show here, that's why I'm not concerned of any parking lots or roads refreezing tonight. So as we look at future temperatures here, you can see temperatures are going to be inching on up as we go through the rest of the night tonight, 30s to around 40 into the 40s to perhaps around 50 tomorrow afternoon. And then after sunset, they continue to rise here before the cold front passes. Most of us around 50 or the 50s even. And then in comes the colder air by the time we get to lunchtime already 30s for all of the UP by lunchtime. That's when we're going to have some strong winds as well. And then it's Definitely a winter like feel for Friday morning with lows in the teens and 20s. Rain showers, drizzle, even some fog moving in tonight, continuing on into the daytime on Wednesday. And then as we go into Wednesday night, we'll continue with some drizzle or rain showers along with fog. But as we get into the overnight hours on Thursday, that's your strong cold front coming on through here. And that's when we could see potentially some thunderstorms with potentially some stronger gustier winds. That front's out of here. And then we're just left with some snow showers for the daytime on Thursday. The big weather story will be the winds here as we are looking at gustier winds in spots tonight and then into Wednesday afternoon. The strong winds move in tomorrow night and this is when we could have some wind gusts at or over 60 miles per hour in some UP spots. And those stronger winds continue on into Thursday, especially in the Copper Country, where we could see some wind gusts Thursday, especially morning and early afternoon, 60, perhaps 70 miles per hour or stronger. And then we're going to continue with some wind as we go into Thursday night into early Friday morning, but the wind should lighten up as we go into Friday afternoon. So with that in mind, we do have a high wind watch that is in effect for all of Upper Michigan, just to get you prepared in the mind that we're going to have some strong winds moving on in tomorrow night and on in to the daytime on Thursday. And what's ahead? Rain or drizzle and fog will be possible now through Wednesday. Along the cold front, a thunderstorm can't be ruled out Wednesday night. But the big story, strong winds Wednesday night on into Thursday. Secure loose out loose outside stuff or items and that includes Christmas decorations. You want to tie those down or get those inside tomorrow before the strong winds of potentially 50, 60 or 70 miles per hour move in to the UP. Marquette's forecast temperatures in tomorrow afternoon will be in the 40s and then into the 50s we go tomorrow after sunset and then 50 that's an early daytime high. It'll be in the 30s by Thursday afternoon and then it's winter like starting Friday and then perhaps some accumulating snow Saturday. Escanaba 40s to around 50 for Wednesday and then warm tomorrow night. 50 early Thursday morning turning colder and then chilly Friday and Saturday winter like and that winter like trend continues into the weekend. Weather anytime head to our WJM and local 3 app also online at upmatters.com and we're on Facebook as well for weather updates if you want more information on the stronger winds.